periodic motion is something which repeats itself so let's say that my pen is the body which is repeating itself so I keep the pen here let's draw a reference line first this is the reference lines and my pen which is the object is moving up and down the same distance this being the amplitude so while my pen is moving up and down it's a periodic motion but it doesn't give us the sine curve does it so let's see how we can get the sine curve so what we will do is the body is moving in the distance so space wise it is moving but there is no movement in the time so let's move time also now here you see this graph that we obtained is very similar to the sine curve that we have it starts from zero goes maximum then goes zero then again negative maximum right so when we have a motion in time the graph that we obtain is a sine curve so that's how the formula that x is equals to a sine omega t comes that's where sine comes from all right now let's see what is omega i have wrote omega here so let's see what is omega omega is the angular frequency all right let's see what is angular frequency first let's see first for is frequency frequency is as i can say that the number of waves passing a point per unit time that is the definition of frequency its unit is obviously 1 upon t so per second per second is the unit of frequency now again if we take the example of a circular motion what do we get the body covers the whole distance in a fixed interval of time let's say that that fixed interval of time is called the time period all right now how much distance does this body cover while it is covering the time period it's circumference so what is the distance that it is covering 2 pi r r being the radius of the circle now so we know that velocity is equals to displacement upon time what is the displacement here 2 pi r and what is the time here let's say it's t so it's 2 pi r by t that is the linear velocity of the body but is that the angular velocity also i don't think so the angular velocity would be the angular displacement upon the time taken now what is the angular displacement angular velocity is equals to angular displacement by time taken the angular displacement is the displacement in the angle now how much displacement does this body cover in terms of angle 360 degree or 2 pi so 2 pi by whatever is the time taken t now this angular velocity is called omega 2 pi by t so omega is nothing but the angular displacement upon the time taken it's simple isn't it angular velocity is the simple relationship between displacement upon time which displacement angular displacement why because it is angular velocity